Hey everybody, it's the last day to back the Ethereum. I had a normal ad read for the sponsor, but I, you, okay, I know a lot of people are just gonna skip past this, but if there's anything that's gonna get you on this last day of this Kickstarter, which is basically a, a Ghostfire's version of Spelljammer, it, it's all really great. Listen to the trailer music. It is so, it, it is so hype. It is so hype. It's so good. Just listen to it. Just listen to it. We don't throw in with factions. We are but one attraction. And it's take what we want. To I gotta get in on this. I'm, I'm getting in on this. Who fast will cling to the mess and will fight back the iris till we're down to the last. For the Caroline's blunder will throw them asunder. For we hoist up the sails and it's downwards we cast. Oh my god! Go! Go back and just for the song alone. Get you, oh my god. Go, link down below. I think I'm going to make my strength. Well, Lysafel was born into a militaristic family and he was trained as a soldier from birth. And he had to do it very quickly as well because Karnath being Karnath, you know, they need soldiers for their ever-growing military. But now that it's after the war, and he's been traveling the entire world, experiencing lots of different things, and especially searching after his fiance who went MIA after the war. You, you know, I just... Yeah, that 16's going in perception. I'm going Warforged Paladin for the first two levels, and then for third and fourth I'm going to go Artificer. I'm going to get the Infuse item Enhanced Defense, and put that on my shield, which I get for being a Paladin. I also get Chainmail for being a Paladin. I also get a plus one for being a Warforged, so... <laughs> 20 AC. And I've got a bag of holding. I'm gonna play a Barbarian. Oh really? Why? I wanna hit stuff. And what are you gonna play? Uh, Wizard. Oh, cool! Why? Uh, magic seems cool. Alright, that's fair. So, Lysafel is traveling with Dave. Dave, the wizard, and Mephistopheles. Oh gods. And Brick. Brick? <laughs> Alright, Brick. Locating somebody in Sharn with an aberrant dragon mark is going to be difficult. But a Warforge as powerful as yourself, pretty sure you know how to navigate the streets, can uh, protect us from a few Dask thugs, or, you know, whoever could be after us. I wonder who would be after us. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, the Emerald Claw, perhaps. <laughs> I just want to hit stuff. Is that something that has to do with your backstory? No! <laughs> Not all of us are so stereotypical and have the ghosts of our origin haunting us. <laughs> Unless you've just let us a little peek into your backstory. <laughs> what, Kenneth want their tin soldier back? Was that a threat? Yes. I kill him. Wait, 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 I let this go too far. Why don't we uh, come to an understanding and we can all sign a contract that has been written off by- Okay, seems like you guys have your characters ready. Let's go ahead and jump into the game. I need everybody to roll initiative. Ooh. We start today's game in a meeting between factions. Oh. You are all at this meeting because you were called to be bodyguards. And as you guys are scanning the entire room, you notice that one of the council members is acting very strangely. He writhes and twitches when suddenly his skin cracks open and he transforms into a giant demon. Oh! He just picks up another council member, throws him out of the room, and begins attacking everybody. Interesting. Sabotaging a meeting like this does not bode well for the other houses. I mean, if the fights continue like this, they won't continue to meet and they'll just erupt into chaos. Somebody who orchestrated this must be outside the circle. In fact, as you realize this, Lysophil, you notice that there is another individual in the back of the room who is doing their best to try to avoid eye contact and get out as quickly as possible. And you notice that they have a pendant that is similar to yours. My backstory! He turns out, scans the room, and then goes back into the crowd to try to escape. And for that brief glimpse that you saw his face, you swear he looked almost exactly like your fiance. What? I joined the fight. I'm going after him. I, I have so many questions. Going into initiative, though, Dave, you are first. Uh, what should I do? Best option would probably be to do as much damage as possible on that demon. Do you have magic missile? Dave, do whatever you want. I have this spell called Detect Thoughts. Can I read the thoughts of the demon? That is not... Yes! 
As you do so, you peer into the mind of the demon. This warped language that you barely understand uh, reverberates through your mind. This deep abyssal, but slowly begins to sort of make sense in your mind. Like you're reading almost the emotions, the, the feelings of this demon. And what immediately comes to you first is that he's smart and he's strategizing. He's scanning the room, but he's looking to cause as much chaos as possible but on purpose. Yeah, yeah. Is he thinking about who he's going to attack next? He's going for Brick next. I tell Brick. Brick, as you're preparing to fight this demon, you hear a warning from across the room, Dave telling you that he's gonna attack you next. You prepare yourself, and because of that, I'm gonna give you a plus one to your AC until the start of your next turn. Oh, yes! The demon is next. It's gonna go straight for you, Brick. It's gonna get you with a horn attack, and then it's gonna use its multi-attack for two claw attacks as well. Oh boy. First one's 17. Miss. 19. Miss. 20. D dirty 20. That would hit if I didn't have the plus one! <laughs> yeah! I'm unstoppable! It's your turn! I smite this fool! That one off the table. That's a 22 to hit! Roll damage! He's also a fiend! So I can add an extra D8! While you're giving me damage, Mephistopheles, it's your turn. I am too far from the demon. Is there anything else I can hit? Yeah, you turn around and you watch as a number of dark portals open and spilling out of them are a bunch of demonic reinforcements. <laughs> I hit stuff! Tell me, does the blood of Vol still run through your veins? King Caius sends his regards, and you notice your fiancé that you hold before you. There's this unnerving twitch about him. His mouth droops open and his eyes are this deep yellow. He's undead. No! Oh, it's actually so cool. Oh my god. <laughs> can, uh, can I cast enlarge on the demon? Wah. Well, maybe if it's bigger, then it's easier to hit. Oh, I love that. Y yeah, it's still gonna be stronger, but I'm gonna reduce its AC by five. Yes! I crit and deal 55 damage. He hasn't even landed a hit on you, and you send him right back to where he came from. I'm kicking demons off the tower. <laughs> Roll athletics. I have advantage because I'm raging. Uh, 17. Three of the demons fall away into the city below, screeching in abyssal. Mephistopheles will remember this name. <laughs> yeah, you will. <laughs> I love that you all play differently. Treasure beneath her, take a share of the loot and good fortune and fame. When usurpers make trouble, we'll reduce them to rubble. Raise your flag and make them all. Guys! Guys! Oh! Heave through the waves or the maelstrom. You won't find a crew this strong with our freedoms at stake. And we're not for the gallows, for the starry sea swallows, or the wreckage of ships that we leave in our wake. So what'll it be, Captain? You're looking for a crew? That goes way too hard. That goes way too hard.